Well, Screen Territory is a government agency in the middle of Australia, in Alice Springs, which is in the Northern Territory, which is a land mass about the size of Europe, with a very small population, about 200,000 people. And uh, it's where ancient meets new. It's a wild frontier in a sense, because there are a lot of Aboriginal Australians. 30% of the population is Aboriginal Australian, and uh, the other percentage is non-Aboriginal Australian, and we've got some great stories there. So that's why Screen Territory is in Alice Springs probably rather than Darwin, which is the capital of the Northern Territory, and uh, we're making lots of good stories. So you say you've got great stories. Do you, are you involved in investing in their development or funding production? What do you do? We do everything, but with us, we've got a fairly small pool of money, but we um, get involved with people at this seed of kernel of an idea and help them develop it. We can give them some money or some advice and help them develop it up. We can put a small amount of money in and introduce them to other people that might have more money, for example, federal agencies, broadcasters and so on. Um, I've been in the position about eight years and in that time we've developed 15 feature films, some of which have producers attached now. We've also done a lot of factual development. I developed a program called Realizator, which um, was about real programming, factual programming, and we got broadcasters up to the Northern Territory as well as experienced producers, and out of that we've had a number of programs made. And do you have two pots, one for Indigenous and one for non-Indigenous? No, no. We, um, it's all, all the same as far as we're concerned, although because of um, opportunities for Indigenous Australians currently in Australia, we do um, some initiatives that are targeted at, initiative, uh, at Aboriginal Australians. For example, Yarning Up, which is a series of short micro docs that were done for ABC television with people from remote communities that speak language and are close to their cultures and that was quite a unique model of making programs for Australia because many more urban Aboriginal people have become program makers rather than people that live in remote communities. Now I heard that SBS has launched a Aboriginal network and uh, are you feeding programs and ideas into, into that uh well, platform. we will, and people that live in the Northern Territory definitely will. Um, it's very exciting, it's free to air. It, NRTV has be, been running for a few years on cable, but it's now free to air, so many more Australians are seeing it. So it's a great opportunity for a lot of new programming. Yeah. And what do you think are the big next steps for you? What are you looking forward to? Um, well, what's, going, what's in production over the next few years? We've got a comedy series, Indigenous comedy series coming out of Alice Springs. We've got a couple of features that are being made. Um, got lots of documentaries in development, so just more, more different things. And actually, I went and um, to the presentation from CCTV in China, and I'd like to see more Territorians working with China. Good. We've got some great stories that could connect with China. Oh, thank you so much, Penelope. It's a fascinating story.